What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Chris Cage, coming at you two times, and we have a weekly race video for y'all. As a member of the Hot Wheels community, we are saddened to know that Hot Wheels designer Ryu Asada has passed away. Rest in power, Ryu Asada. And not only that, uh, on a personal note, and it's just me, uh... A rapper from the 90s that I grew up with by the name of DMX has also passed away recently. So rest in peace to DMX as well. But what are we going to do for Ryu Asada? Well, we got the back-to-back -back track out. We don't really take this track out that, that much. But I decided to do something that is a little bit of a tribute. A little bit of an interesting tribute. Now, I decided to grab a select few of Ryu Wasada's Hot Wheels designs and do an exhibition race in his honor. According to Hot Wheels Wiki, these are some of Ryu Wasada's Hot Wheels designs right here that you're going to see racing. Please do not comment on how, why don't you include this one or this one and this one because if you have a YouTube channel, you can make your own Hot Wheels tributes of them as well. This is just one of mine. And also, if you want a complete list of Ryu Wasada Hot Wheels designs, be sure you go to Fandom uh, Hot Wheels Wiki and then go to Ryu Wasada's uh, design designer's page and look at all the Hot Wheels cars he has designed. Some of them may shock you because some castings that are hard or 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 are hard to find and are hot up in the JDM community, some of them he didn't make. But, but most of them he did make. But I, I thought in his honor, why don't we do this race to send a good tribute to him as he is up in the Hot Wheels heavens. And with that in mind, it's time now to begin the first round of this exhibition race in honor of Ryu Asada. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is your first round, and here are your first two castings getting ready to race. Winner, lane four. And your winner is in lane number four, and it goes to the Arkham Knight Batmobile. Alright guys, we got a couple of red cars up here getting ready to race. Wow. That NSX just came rolling in right at the second turn. He was like, oopie, see you later. Winner is the Acura NSX from 2017 in bright, bright red. All right, guys, here comes your next race. Oh, looks like the Lightning just lost it a little bit, but he did hold on long enough in order to get the win. All right, here's your next race, and here's an interesting fact. Already two out of three great Gran Turismo uh, cars have made it to Hot Wheels. This car right here, the R390 GT1 and the Mazda 787B. So my question is, will we see the Toyota GT1? That's spelled O-N-E, come to the Hot Wheels uh, brand? Only time will tell, but I believe it's going to happen. Let's see who will win this race. Winner is the 2017 Lamborghini Urus. Tell me where you heard this one before. We got a couple of tall boys here on the track. Let's see who will win. Oh, wow, look at this. So the uh, Rubicon a Jeep, what is it, Gladiator, has lost it in the second curve, but your winner is the 2020 Ram uh, 1500 Rebel. I just fell over something, if you're wondering what that noise was. 
But yeah, that that Dodge Ram is your winner. Alright guys, here is your next race featuring these two great castings. Oh, it was a drag to the finish. And it looked like the, the uh, Jaguar was going to win it, but the Mustang came in at the last second and took it right away from him. The custom 18 Ford Mustang GT is your winner. Here is your next set of mat, or here, here are your next two getting ready to race. Winner, lane three. Easy win for the 1996 Porsche Carrera as he officially gets the win. All right, here comes your next matchup. And that Integrale just killed the track right there. Your winner obviously is the Lancia Delta HF Integrale. All right, we got some high performance racers on the track here. It's time to see which one of these two is going to win. Oh, wow, look at that. Formula E Gen 2 has won it away from the Corvette C8R. I thought the C8R was going to win it, but he didn't. All right, we got a couple of classics or or a JDM uh, retro classics. One of them I like. That is going to try to get a win. Let's see which one it will be. All right, goes to lane four. Volvo 850 Estate gets the win. And that meh yellow color. Here comes some popular castings that people want to see. And yes, this one does not have any hey, hey, hop, hop decals on it. Or vandalizing marks on it. This one's clean AF. Let's see who will win. I think I saw someone probably, I heard someone knock something, or probably almost lost it there. But your winner is the Dajabon. And just like that, we're coming down to the final two of the first round. It's time to see who will win it between the Prelude and the Yesco. Wow, not only is it blue, but it is one of my underrated favorite JDM cars out there. So yes, the 98 Honda Prelude has gotten the win. Thanks for coming, Koenig Segesco. And it's time to see who has moved on to round number two of the Ryu Asada exhibition. Here we are. 12, 12, car, 12 castings out of 24 has moved on right here. And it's now time to begin round number two, which will be coming up right after this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, round number two. Here's your first race of that second round. Winner, lane four. The NSX has done it again. Taking it away from the desert camouflaged Arkham Knight Batmobile. All right, next up we got a cult favorite of a truck, well, my favorite, and the future of luxury SUVs getting ready to race against each other. Ah, it's the lightning! Burst onto the scene and strike with lightning. Ford F-150 SVT Lightning gets the win. All right, next race here. Winner, lane four. Goes to the fourth lane. You see that thing light up there. So, your winner 
is once again the custom 18 Ford Mustang GT with Formula Drift decals on it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next race. The Porsche Crew is fast, but it's no match for the Integrale, as the Delta HF Integrale has gotten a win. Second to the last race. Now, here's the uh, twist in this one. Since we have four cars already moving on to the next round, these final two heats are going to get a pass in the next round. So let's see who will win between the Volvo and this Formula E. Winner! Lane 4! Of course, it's the Volvo um, 850 Estate in that mustard-looking yellow. All right, here comes your final four. It's time to see who will move on to the next round. Oh, whoa, look at that. That was a really close race. It was almost going to go to the prelude, but his last minute burst of speed was no match for this Dajabon. So, Dajabon got it, which means both the Volvo 850 Estates and the Dajabon are going to get a pass in the next round, which means it's going to be up to these two in this next round as well because it'll be the 17 Acura NSX taking on the Ford F-150 SVT Lightning and also the Custom 18 Ford Mustang GT taking on the Lancia Delta HF Integrale to face off against this group right here. And that will be all contested in round number three which will be starting right after this. All right, time for the third round. We got ourselves a JDM, uh, a modern JDM supercar-like favorite, and my favorite two-door pickup truck. Let's go. A little salsa that time. Winner, that one looks like I forgot to take a car off right there. That will go elsewhere. But yes, the Lightning proved to be no match. For the NSX. Or was it the other way around? I don't know. My mind is crazy. But yes. The Lightning has won it. Alright, let's see who will make it into the finals. Will it be the Lancia or will it be the Custom Mustang? Winner! Lane 4! Yes, the Lancia Delta HF and Tigrale. Has done it, which means it's now time to see who won. Well, not who won, but who's moving on to the finals of this race. It's going to be the Lancia Delta HF Integrale taking on the Lightning and also the Volvo 850 Estate taking on Dajaban. And that's all coming up in the finals. All right, finals. Time to see which one of these Ryu Wasada castings is going to win this Ryu Wasada special exhibition weekly race. Here are your first two getting ready to race. Winner, lane four. Sayonara to the Lightning. But the good thing is it gotten this far. But your winner, yes, the Lancia Delta HF Integrale. Who will the Delta Integrale face off against? Will it be the Volvo or will it be the Dajabon? It will be the Dajabon. So, what that means is in the special gauntlet race, as that, that we always do for versus races, which is what we do for the final two cars every single time, is 
it will be the Delta HF Integrale taking on the Dajaban. Two of Ray Wasada's newest castings that he made in the year, or not in the year 2021, but in the 2021 Mainline series, both with the copyright base of 2020. So a couple of newbies on here, but only one of them must win. Will it be the Dajaban or will it be the Lancha Delta HF Integrale? The gauntlet race begins now. Since I am aware I got new subscribers coming in, here's how a gauntlet works. First, these cars race one-on-one -on -one in order to win. If there is a DNF for some odd reason, the next race will determine the winner. If there are two different winners, like for say this one wins and this one wins, it is a, it is a split and then we race them again. If it happens again, we go to an advantage round and the one who wins back-to-back -back is your winner. This will go on for as long as it needs to until we get a winner. With that in mind, it's time to see who will win with these final two in this gauntlet race in the finals. Dajaban didn't quite get it, so it looks like the Lancia is going to get the win. If he wins again, he wins this entire weekly race. Alright, the Dajaban can spoil everything if he loses or if he wins this race and forces the Lancia to go into a split race. Well, if you see that right there, it didn't matter because your winner of the Rayu Asada special uh, exhibition race on the back-to-back -back track is the Lancia Delta HF Integrale. I know it does not say HF on the base. It just says Lancia Delta Integrale. But I've played many racing games before, and I known it as the Lancia Delta HF Integrale, so that's how I'm gonna pronounce. Or that's how I'm gonna say it for this casting. I'm pretty sure they're gonna probably put that on the packaging in the future, so don't be surprised if I somehow am the reason why it did it done that. But regardless of which, congratulations to, to the Lancia Integrale for getting a win in today's special Rayu Asada special. For today's Hot Wheels Weekly Race. And yes, once again, rest in peace to the great Hot Wheels designer Ryu Asada. I have many of his designs, including the iconic, or well, not the iconic, but the instant classic, the Ryujin Express. Now, only one problem is that I test this already, and well, it doesn't do really well in these types of curves. So you might not see that in certain down and bag races, but I'm pretty sure it can go on the downhill track. And that will do it for today's Hot Wheels Weekly Race. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you are brand new watching this, please subscribe and also turn on the notifications bell as well. It's your boy Chris Cage. I'm coming at you two times and we will see you at the next video.